It made national headlines four years ago. Now the Martin County coal slurry spill is back in the news after a whistleblower says the government tried to hide some facts. Tonight, after the championship game, we'll hear from a former mine director who says the cover-up claims are wrong. And tonight on 27 News First, again, we'll be on late after the Connecticut Georgia Tech championship game. And if we can just get through tonight, better things tomorrow. Definitely. By the afternoon tomorrow, we're going to see uh, highs well back into the 60s, probably mid-60s, most locations. It's going to be cold in the morning, especially southern southeast Kentucky. That freeze warning, most locations there, those sheltered valley areas could see upper 20s. So protect those plants for better weather. All right. Enjoy the game tonight here on CBS. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks for making WKYT your number one source for news. 27 News First. Watched by more Kentuckians every day than any other television news.